Yes, sir. Now, today, we gonna talk about Flint City Councilman, Eric Mays. Now, a lot of y'all, just like myself, uh, have just caught wind of Eric Mays, uh, maybe around last year when he started blowing up over social media. But he has been, you know, uh, involved in Flint's politics since 2013, right? Now, it has come out, right? He was known for being very uh, outspoken. You know, he was on the false head up in there. You know, he was letting them have it. You know, he wasn't playing. He was standing on business, right? So it's very interesting, man, that uh, on February 24th, right? Outspoken Flint Councilman and TikTok sensation, Eric Mays has passed away. The 65 year old is known for his outbursts and passionate support of residents during the Flint water crisis. So with that being said, let's touch on the numerical synchronicities of Flint City Councilman, Eric Mays. Now, first and foremost, Eric Mays was born on September 16th in Flint, Michigan. September 16th was the 259th day of the year, and it also left 106 days remaining in the year. Now, damn, Kimfo, do that mean do that mean he was a puppet? Not necessarily, because we all have numerical synchronicities uh, in our date numerologies. If you look into the day that you were born, right, you will see a lot of synchronicities by the day that you was born, right? So it's very interesting, man, how this universe works, right? Because he was born on September 16th, which is the 259th day of the year when Black Lives Matter equals 259, and Black Lives Matter also equals 106, and that was the date numerology that he was born on, not to mention 106 as well, with him being born in Flint, Michigan, when Flint, in its abbreviation, MI, also equals 106, as the word black equals 106. Now, the number 106 is uh, also corresponding with black people, right? Think about black entertainment television when we grew up watching 106 in Park right so with that being said let's come on now some other some other date numerology before we really get into it right uh he was also born on 102 39 and 83 date numerology like the n-word slavery equals 102 eric mays equals 39 in reduction and what's so crazy is the reduction this this is the reduced way of adding up this date numerology right here so even in the reduced manner it's it's, it's corresponding right with eric mays so now we know that everything else we about to see is going to tell us exactly what happened to him right uh, he was also born on 83 date numerology, right? When murder equals 83. Uh, Flint, Michigan, right? Where he passed away at. Flint, Michigan equals 83. So with that being said, let's really get down to it. Now, Eric Bradford Mays passed away 161 days after his last birthday when Eric Bradford Mays equals 161 in the ordinal cipher, A being the first letter of the alphabet, B being the second, so on and so forth. Come on. Because when Eric Mays became a member of the Flint City Council on November 13th, 2013 was when he was officially elected as a member of the council. Now he passed away 123 months after he was elected when Eric Mays 
equals 123 in the English language backwards. Now, let's get down to it. Because we know that there are days, there are specific days that these elections are held and it's purposely done. Right? Now, somebody like Eric Mays might not have been aware of things like this. But the day uh, that he was elected, right? November 13th, 11 1 3. Now, he passed away 10 years and 103 days after he was elected. So his death has a correlation with him being a Flint City Council member. Now, if you notice something, you would notice the number 113, right? Taking away the zeros because zeros have no value in numerology. So we have one, one, three. Now the day that he passed away was on a day leaving 311 days left in the year, just like the number for dishonesty. The number for dishonesty equals 113 and it also equals 311, right? Now, what also equals 113? Politics. The most recent United States uh, presidential election was held November 3rd, 11 slash 3. When politics equals 113 and election day equals 113. So we know that his death is directly linked to him being a politician. Right? So come on. Because once again, 10 years and 103 days after he was elected as the Flint City Councilman was when he passed away. When 103 politics equals 103 in the ordinal cipher. And once again, once we take that whole thing, 113 politics equals 113. Uh, Eric Mays also passed away on 50 date numerology when politics equals 50 in the reverse reduction cipher. Even Eric Bradford Mays, his whole birth name equals 50 in the Chaldean cipher. The Chaldeans believe that the name that you were given at birth has a lot to do with your destiny. The universal code, you see what I'm saying? Uh, when we look at Gematria, it shows us what led to these people's demise right and we see that it was directly linked to him being involved in politics so come on because uh during his suspension uh he was suspended right at the time of his death he was actually suspended right as of December 20th, 2023, Council President Liddell Lewis and her cohorts, right? This is coming from Councilman May's attorney, right? Uh, his co her, her cohorts, Vice President Can Candace Mushat, Councilman Quincy Murphy, Councilwoman Judy Presley, and Councilwoman Ava Worthing. And he was always on her head, Miss. That's Miss Worthing. He was always on Miss Worthing head, right? Uh, they all voted on an unjust and illegal resolution to suspend the first war councilman, Eric Mays, from his duly elected council seat for the next three months. So he actually passed away nine weeks and three days after his suspension, just like Eric Mays equals 93. So I find it very suspicious that during his suspension he ended up passing away before he came back he was supposed to come back on the 20th of this month he was suspended for 90 days he died during that 90 day suspension now i want to kind of go back in time a little bit and talk about some things that was happening uh, a couple years ago Right, because 
Councilman Mays has been going at it with the city of Flint for a long time. Uh, back in 2020, Councilman Mays filed a million dollar lawsuit against Flint officials, right? Now the lawsuit lists nine different allegations, more than 100,000 in damages for each count, claiming the violation of Mays constitutional rights. The specific claims include uh, uh, his right to a uh, violation of his right to free speech, due process and unreasonable seizure. Uh, den uh, he says that they deny him equal protection under the law and subjected him to false arrest. In this lawsuit, Mays mentions two other incidents that include Deputy Chief, excuse me, Deputy Chief of Staff Duval Murdoch physically assaulting Mays at a local bar in February. Mays claims that Mayor Sheldon Neely made false allegations in a press release in response to the altercation. He said in that press release that I walked in. This is quote unquote. This is coming from Mays. Mays says, quote, he said in that press release that I walked in, assaulted Duval Murdoch and said that I would kick his F A. That didn't happen. The mayor wasn't even there, Mays stated. Now, the outcome of this million dollar lawsuit. U.S. District Court judge throws out Eric May's lawsuit against the city of Flint. Taxpayers foot the $24,000 bill. Now, this was posted on March 11th, which is another synchronicity with politics, right? The 11th of March. Right? The lawsuit filed by Eric Mays was thrown out by the judge who ruled it had no merit. Now, he was, a go he was going against the mayor. He was going against the mayor. So obviously strings was being pulled behind closed doors and he was not going to win this lawsuit, right? Because we know what's going on behind closed doors. So yes, he sued the city and the case was thrown out. But this isn't the only time that Eric Mays actually filed a lawsuit against the city of Flint. Now, in April 12, 2022, Flint City Council actually removed Eric Mays as the president. So not only was he the Flint City Councilman, he was also elected as the Flint City Council president. But in April of 2022, he was removed. He was removed. Then in October of 2023, uh, Eric Mays filed another lawsuit against the city after he was removed from a meeting right so he was going at it multiple times uh against the city right uh so then that leads to the most recent suspension right so two months two months after he was kicked out of the meeting Two months later in December, Eric Mays was suspended for three months. Then uh, four days, four days before Eric Mays passes away on February 20th, a Flint woman uh, filed a lawsuit against uh, the city on behalf of Eric Mays. A Flint woman has sued the city in federal court claiming the suspension of Councilman Mays violates her constitutional rights and the rights of approximately 10,000 residents who live in the ward that he represent. So the city of Flint's uh, town, the, the, the people of Flint, right? Had Eric Mays back. They really liked him. They really loved him. They fucked with him, right? They had his back. So even a woman, a citizen of the city filed a lawsuit on Eric Mays behalf, right? So that was four days before his death. Four days after this lawsuit, Eric Mays is found dead at the age of 65. So I find this very suspicious. I find this very suspicious that during his suspension and these pending lawsuits that he had against the city of Flint, then he passes away, right? I find that very suspicious. 
uh, and his lawyer, this is five days after his death on February 29th, the last day of Black History Month. Not to mention that he was killed during Black History Month, right? A uh, lawyer pledges to continue to pursue lawsuits brought by the late Flint council member, Eric Mays, right? So he still had numerous lawsuits that were still pending against the city of Flint. So yes, I find it very suspicious that he happens to pass away during this time. Uh, he even had a lawsuit not only by not only over uh, his suspension, but also against the process the city of Flint is using to determine how to spend tens of millions of dollars of federal American Rescue Plan funds. Now, in November, a circuit court judge dismayed that lawsuit, labeling it as frivolous. Excuse me, frivolous. At the time, Mays pledged to appeal the court ruling. So he had many things going on against the city that he was working for. So I find it very feasible for them to do something like this, to knock him off, get him out of here. We're tired of him. We're tired of hearing his mouth. We're tired of dealing with him. So yes, I could see it very feasible that they knocked him off, right? Got him up out the way. Now, I'm, I'm interested in hearing which all I think uh, went on with this situation as well. Uh, that's all we have for this video. Appreciate y'all for all the love. Appreciate y'all for all the support. And I'm out.